so we are back here this is a new series that we're trying out um, just figured I'd do something a little bit different if you saw my setup right now it, it's pretty hilarious I have the mic on backwards but this is a new series and so what I do is I review luxury items such as this this is actually a um, executive slash gentleman's blade and um, we'll just go through review it and see if it's uh, if it's worth the price or if it's just something to show off with and something that's kind of uh, overpriced and if it uh, if it's really worth it so yeah we're gonna review this is an MKM blade so you can see right there it's made in Italy and uh, let's unbox it real quick so when you unbox it you get a, uh, a patch right here you can see it has made in Italy cool little patch and then this carrying case so if you see that we'll move the box out of the way and there's nothing else in the box this is all that's in there and so when you open it up comes right here all right so here it is so this is the MKM Zeba flame so if you can see that if it'll focus on there let's see there we go so if it'll focus right there so uh, some stats about this knife um, the blade length is 2.83 inches so it is below three inches if that's important for laws um, wherever you live stuff like that and so uh, so it's 2.83 inches, the cutting edge is 2.75 inches, um, the thickness of the blade is point one, or one tenth of an inch, and um, it is all titanium construction. As you can see on the back, the clip is the blue anodized titanium. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous, and so is the, uh, the washer, I guess you could say, or the, the, the bearing holder, the, uh, the hardware. And so this is the dagger style. So as you can see, um, it does have two sides that are thin with this, um, this fuller here in the middle. Only this bottom side right here is sharp. This side on here is, uh, is not sharp at all. So you're not cutting yourself. But I think you could sharpen it if you really wanted to. Let's see if that'll focus for you. But I think it's absolutely a gorgeous design. And you can kind of see it better there. But it is absolutely gorgeous very small it's got that coffin shape to the handle so if we close it up you can see it's got that kind of coffin shape to it um, and like I said under three inches under uh, two and a half ounces so it's very tiny very light um, if you put it up against some other blades we have a uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife so that's kind of a similar style and then we have a um, a very large auto bench made and so if you see that it is I mean there's no comparison it's it's very tiny compared to those two it's very similar to the uh, Victorinox um, Swiss Army knife very similar I'd say a little bit thinner but also a little bit taller so that's kind of what you're uh, what you're looking at very smooth actions very smooth action as you can see so the ceramic bearings definitely help with that and a stone wash finish on the handle, stone wash finish on the blade, and like I said, it is just the fit and finish is pretty spectacular. Whenever you have it closed, right here, you can see that this right here, the lock for it, the frame lock for it, is flush. You can barely feel a seam, even though it's rather large. You can barely feel a seam in between it and what. Um, and like I said, it's just the fit and finish, even on the, the polish on the screws, is pretty, pretty incredible. And so these ceramic bearings make it deploy very quickly. It's a flipper, obviously, with a, you can see on both sides, but it is very, very, I think, the perfect size for, like I said, an executive gentleman's folder that, um, that yeah, you can get. It's around $200. There are different versions where the handle is volcano carbon fiber, so it's got a little bit of a red inlay. And then there is also an option that I'll be reviewing that has a um, clip point blade, so it's not the dagger style that you can see. And uh, made in Italy, stainless steel backspacer right here. So if you see right here, stainless steel backspacer. And um, like I said, the rest is titanium. And um, the blade is made out of M390 stainless steel. So very good steel you got there. And like I said, it's a little bit more of a luxury item. It's 200 bucks. This is the cheapest of all of them. You can get the carbon fiber one, I believe is 230. If you get it at like Blade HQ or wherever you get them, it depends on if you want to get the carbon fiber versions, which are a little more expensive, like I said, or you can get the clip point um, where, or you can get the clip point 
as opposed to the dagger, which I think is a little more suitable. I think it'd be a little more low key if you had it rather than the dagger shape. I just thought it looked symmetrical and looked great. Kind of reminds me of like the shape of a shark. I don't know why, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. But like I said, if we can get it up close, you can kind of see the fit and finish on these screws and hardware is just absolutely incredible. And my favorite part is definitely the blue accents. So if we can get that in the light, this this anodized blue right here is is just absolutely exquisite. And uh, it's a Michael Ziva design. So he uh, he's collaborated with a lot of different knife makers, and I, I specifically like this MKM. I've, this is my first MKM I've ever owned, but I think it is is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I'm getting the clip point with carbon fiber, so this the display handle right here will be um, a black marbled carbon fiber, but it, this whole backside will be exactly the same. Just a different, like I said, different display side and a different uh, blade shape. And so this is what it looks like in the hand. Every review I've seen, they never show it in the hand. This is the size. I have pretty medium-sized hands. Don't have crazy huge hands or uh, crazy small hands, but pretty average-sized hand. And this is what it looks like whenever you're fully handling it. And there's no jimping on the back or anything like that. It is just that, that dagger style that's not sharpened at all, so you're not cutting your finger right there. But yeah, so this is the MKM Zeba Flame. It is $200, and from what I can tell, it is one of the most affordable higher-end gentlemen's executives, whatever you want to call it, knives out there on the market right now. And without a doubt, it definitely fucks. It is not for show. It is not something that you just kind of buy, and it's whimsical and falls apart. I mean, even even on this frame lock, you can see you got to put some effort into it for it to even lock right in. And... Uh, the bearings on it are quick. The action is is solid, and you can hear it from a mile away. So this is definitely one that I think is worth the money. Spend a little extra money. I know there's the CRKT um, CEO that's like I don't know 40 bucks, and I, I've heard that that's a great knife. But that we're going strictly off of luxury here, and this one without a doubt is uh, it definitely fucks. It's not just luxury that's going to fall apart on you that that, that you can't use. Uh, this is definitely worth the money, and I'd recommend it to anybody. It's uh, it's been cutting really well. I have been doing um, only minimal cutting. Obviously, you're not gonna chop down a tree with this. You're not gonna be cutting a thousand yards of paracord rope. But uh, it's good for opening letters. It's good for opening boxes, and it's good for uh, just simple cutting needs. If you needed to cut meat, if you needed to do anything like that at a restaurant, this is something that's that's less intimidating and more of a uh, a statement piece that that will get the job done and. Um, will be less assuming than, than one would think, uh, especially with a dagger point, because uh, it's more of a style aesthetic. Like I said, it's not sharpened on both sides. But yeah, that's the review, and um, we will have more coming out. Like I said, if you could like and subscribe, let me know. This is the first run of this series, so we'll get better each time, and uh, we'll figure it out. And like I said, leave a comment down below. Give me an item you want me to review or, um, or anything I can prove on or anything that you liked. And uh, yeah, we'll continue the series on with a bunch of other items and uh, see if it's uh, if it's worth the money or if it actually uh, it does what it needs to do at a higher level.